Hi and welcome to the tutorial for your snowman kit. The first thing we should go through is what comes in your kit. You should have an envelope marked four hat wood beads and in here should be four hat wood beads. You should have an envelope that says four small wood beads and in there are four small wood beads. And then you should have two envelopes, and each one would have two large wood beads. All right. You should also have paint, and the paint should have three whites, two blacks, and one orange. These are acrylic paints, non-toxic. You should also have a tube of tacky glue. Tacky glue is also non-toxic. You will also find paint brushes. You will get four, and they will vary in cut. Then get four, and they will vary in color and sizes. You will also have four strands. One, one, two, three, four, four strands of. Cording. Colors could vary. You will also have four pieces of ribbon. Sizes and colors will vary on the ribbon. You will also have a you also find yourself a instructions and a included list. The only other thing you will need for this has everything you need to build a snowman. Snow guy. The only other thing you will need and is not included in your kit is a pair of scissors. You might want to have a pair of scissors. That's your kit. For step one in making your snowman, we're going to need this envelope that says four hat wood beads. And in it, you will find four beads. Oops, almost dropped it. It looks like this. You're going to need paint. We're going to use the black. And you're going to need a paintbrush. Your paintbrush will vary in color and size inside of your kit. It all works. First thing we're going to do is we're going to paint our wood bead. And we're going to paint all sides of our wood bead. And you can drop it a hundred times like I do. So, almost there. Paint your wood bead, paint all sides of it, and then we're going to set it aside and let it, we're going to set it aside and let it dry. For step two, you're going to need this package that says four small wood beads. And in this package is a bead that looks like this. Okay? You're going to need your paint. We're going to use the white, and you're going to need a paintbrush. Your paintbrush will vary. These are a little tough to get open, but that's good because we didn't really want them spilling. So, we're going to take our paintbrush and we're going to paint all of the bead. Just like that. And we're going to set it aside. For step three, you're going to need two of these envelopes. They say two large wood beads. And inside of it are large beads like this. You're going to need your paint and a paintbrush. And then we're just going to paint this bead white. So 
So, as you can see, I get very messy painting because I don't wear gloves. But the nice thing is this is acrylic paint. And it's non-toxic. I wouldn't lick it or anything, but this paint will wash off pretty easy. And if you miss a piece, you can let it dry and then you can peel it off. That's step three. We're going to let those dry. For step four, you're going to need your hat bead and your twine. And take your twine and you're going to put it in half. You're going to stick it through the hole in the hat bead. We're leaving a loop. We're going to make a knot, so you can see the knot, and push your hat bead up against it. Okay. For step six, you're, uh, excuse me, step five, you're going to use the hat bead with the cord through it, your big bead, your little bead, your glue, and your scissors. Your glue, when you get it, will be sealed at the end and you'll need to use your scissors to cut off the end. Take your hat with the cord through, put it through, put it through the smaller bead. Before you add it all the way up, add just a tiny bit of glue up against it. And then we're going to put it through the large bead and again just a tiny bit of glue. That's probably too much. You don't even need that much. And see? And then you take this part here and you're going to loop it around and tie a knot. I'm going to double it because I like it doubled a little. It is not necessary, but I like it. So now pulling your cord, pull your knot tight. So as you can see, it's still a little loose because we have to wait for the glue to dry. Snip the ends. You can snip it super close or super long or not at all. And then we're going to let that dry. Okay, for your step six, this step's going to use your snowman. You're going to use your paint. You're going to use your orange and your black and a paintbrush. We are going to give this guy a face. So, using your paintbrush, dip it in the black paint, and then you're going to paint dots. So for his face, we're going to put two eyes, however big you want them to be. Two eyes, we're going to do a face by going dot, 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 dot. He's smiling at you. And then we're going to give him some buttons. So we've got buttons. Now I'm going to wipe off my brush. Because I really don't want the black in there. I'm going to give him a carrot nose. So this is how you do a carrot nose. You get a little bit of orange. And you're going to do a line here. A 
and then come out to a point on the bottom and on the top and then fill it in. That's a carrot nose. Isn't that cute? You want to kind of line it up with the one eyeball. So, carrot nose. For step seven, you're going to use ribbon. Your ribbon may vary in color and width. Of course, you need your snow guy and some glue. We're going to give him a scarf. So we're going to wrap the scarf around. And I go ahead and give it a little tie. Just like that. You can, optional, but I do it. I put a little glue. to hold it in place. Trim your ends with the scissors that's not included in your kit, as you well know. And there you have it. You got your little snowman. You can... And that is your snowman. Now that you've made your snowman, I would love to see your creations. You can go to Pinterest, Crafted by TW, and share them there. You can share your creations on Facebook at the craftedbytw.com group our Facebook page. You can share them on Twitter at Crafted by TW. You can actually share them on this video. I would love to see them. I think people are very creative and it would be fun to see your creations. Thank you and have fun. And, and as always, you can email me or message me if you have problems. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video.